This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Bilkis. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story at this hour, Sarasota County has one of the nation's oldest populations. A quarter of residents who live here are older than 70. Experts say as the baby boomer generation reaches retirement age, they're redefining the face of senior living. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from Honoré Avenue in Sarasota with more on how Sarasota County is adapting. Jess? Good evening, Scott and Haley. Assisted living facilities are popping up all across Sarasota County. Right here, just off of Honoré Avenue near University Parkway, they're building a new facility right next to an existing one. Experts predict that our population will only continue to get older, which means many more of these facilities in the near future. To be honest, I asked the Lord for help, and he opened up the door. Cindy Landry's mother is in a wheelchair. For years, she lived with her daughter, but Landry says transferring her mother from a chair to a bed to even the bathroom got to be too much, so she moved her into Fountains of Hope. Being here has given me great freedom and has given her, it's like a lease on life. The Fountains of Hope Assisted Living Facility just opened its doors about a year ago. The need is there. With space to hold 106 residents, administrators say they're growing quickly. We see uh, the need for safety, security, socialization. Fountains of Hope is one of several facilities popping up across the county. There's a reason for that. We live in a community where there are many people who are right at that point where maybe maintaining the home isn't, uh, they're not up to doing it anymore. According to state numbers, one out of three people in Sarasota County is 65 years or older. And although currently Sarasota County has enough assisted living facilities to house more than 4,000 people. In the next few decades, one out of four, 25 percent, will be 75 and older. Soon, those families are going to look to assisted living to help their loved ones live a more comfortable, happy life. The first line is the children, usually, especially after holiday time at Christmas and Thanksgiving, if they haven't seen mom or dad for a while, and they realize, you know, mom's not getting her housework done or laundry is piled up. And although 90% of Sarasota residents say they'd prefer to age in their own homes. For many people, that will become very difficult, and that's when an assisted living facility becomes an option. The average age of a resident in assisted living here is 87 years old, and three out of four of them are typically females. Now, although the need is high, there is still a lot of vacancy here in Sarasota County. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Jess. And as you can see in Jess's live shot there, a little bit windy. And warm again and today. Not warm. so bad as it was over the weekend. Right, Let's right. find out more with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob. Yeah, if you haven't heard, 96 degrees on Saturday, 95 on Sunday, Sarasota Bradenton Airport. Uh, those are both record high temperatures today. Uh, not there in the 90s, but close. So we had, uh, despite the clouds, still temperatures reaching into the upper 80s. Inland storms right now. This is southwest wind uh, in advance of a frontal system is creating some pretty big storms earlier today. Those are weakening as they push to the east now. But boy, with some heavy rain earlier near Seabrook. Now that's starting to wind down a little bit after a couple of inches of rain fell there. Also in the eastern sections of Highlands County, not much going on along the immediate coast. There were some showers, looked promising, and then it kind of faded away. Uh, 81 degrees right now. We have a dew point at 68. We have some high clouds around left over from those storms out in the Gulf. The humidity now at 65%. The forecast through this evening calling for cloudy skies to be on the increase. There's a good chance to see some rainfall mainly after midnight. We'll talk about that as that cold front makes its way through. And then another cold front is on the way. More on that in just a few minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office continues to investigate a house fire in Venice after detectives found marijuana on the property. First responders arrived at the burning home on Sunset Beach Drive around noon Sunday. Fire officials say they found three cannabis plants on the patio. Special investigation detectives say they seized more than four pounds of marijuana, several plant clippings, and grow lights. Neighbors say the homeowners suffer from medical conditions and don't believe the marijuana was grown for recreational use. I have no idea. I have never seen anything like that there. But if he did, my guess is he had a good reason. The state fire marshal's office is investigating the cause of the fire. No arrests have been made, but the home is a near total loss. Sarasota County is in the process of changing the methodology behind its fire assessment fund. 
The update could lower the amount some property owners pay to fund fire services every year. ABC 7's Adam Cellini spoke with the county's emergency services director and has more. Well, this methodology hasn't been updated since 2003, so officials are hoping that the tax burden can shift from single family homes to more of the non residential structures throughout the county. For some properties, properties will go down. So some of the single family residential, residential rates will go down. As Sarasota County Emergency Services Director Rich Collins explains, current fire assessment methodology is based on data from 1996 to 2003. Back then, single family homes made up the majority of the county. County's buildings. Now a different category is drawing firefighters' attention. We've had about a 13% shift over from single family into the non-residential category, which includes commercial, institutional, uh, all those various types of occupancies. An update could also exclude outbuildings like barns and sheds from the assessment, and it could save David Rhodes some money. Single family homes currently pay $6.72 per 100 square feet of property. Usually, in most cases, everything keeps going up, so yeah, I'm all for that, and I think most people around here would be too. The total fire services budget of $34.5 million isn't supposed to go down, and Rhodes says it shouldn't. They do a great job in. Uh, Highly respect them and they're good people. They're well trained. The proposal will be shared with county commissioners for the first time later this month, and they're expected to set the final assessment fee on September 11th. The county will be holding five public meetings this month at the following dates and locations. They're hoping residents come out and educate themselves about some of these changes. However, they also say it may be too early for people to walk in and find out exactly what their tax rate change will be. In Sarasota, Adam Cellini, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Adam, thank you so much. Still to come, your Suncoast News tonight. The race for governor getting more competitive as a new candidate puts his name in the running. See who is looking to replace Governor Rick Scott. Plus, as sea turtle nesting season begins, why local officials are already confident about this year's outcome. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. It'll be a total zoo in here Tuesday. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. The Big Cat Habitat brings an array of fun and unusual animals, including one that haunts Linda. Sarasota Society photographer Cliff Rolls previews Don't Miss May social events. Plus, Variety Magazine honors Ringling College. We'll talk to an award-winning film teacher. And Poppy's place is in our kitchen. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. When you've been in banking for a long time, it's easy to forget what it was like in the beginning. It took a lot of work and dedication for seven teachers to start our credit union and create a foundation that we continue to build on today. At Achieva, we never lose sight of the values that have defined us for over 75 years. We know you need mobile banking and lightning fast solutions, but sometimes you might just need a helping hand. Any bank can make a transaction, but it takes a little more to make a difference. And that's good to know. Achieva, banking for good. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. 
For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. ABC7 is now a proud member of the Raycom Media family. Our dedication to the Suncoast remains as strong as ever and will only be amplified by the power of Raycom Media. Here's a look at how Raycom will help bring us even closer to our community commitment on the Suncoast. Headquartered in Montgomery, Alabama, Raycom is a powerful force in the media world. With stations from the beaches of Hawaii, through the Sonoran Desert, across the heartland and deep south, to the shores of the Sun Coast. Raycom is a company that invests in, in, in news um, in every market we go into. This company is now 65 stations strong across 44 television markets. Impressive for a company that started in 1996 with 12 TV stations. Raycom is employee owned, one of the largest privately owned broadcast companies in the country. It takes 4,800 employees to keep all facets of this growing group moving into this exciting and evolving media world. We are Raycom Media. We are Raycom Media. What Raycom means to WWSB is more resources to, to, to allow them to do a better job uh, covering the market. But it doesn't just stop at the local television level. Raycom Media also includes two radio stations. Raycom Sports, which spans from covering sporting events to marketing and distributing the sports content, and four other companies, Pure Cars, Tupelo Raycom, RTM Productions, and Broadview Media, involved in digital, sports, and entertainment production. Three, two, one. Today at 5 on ABC7, your Suncoast News. ABC7 is already ingrained in the Suncoast community, so it's fitting that Raycom Media has at its core a strong belief in the communities it serves. All of our general managers do two editorials a week and um, they take up issues that are critical to the community and then we in turn invite response from those community members. As a Raycom station, you'll see more ways to deliver more information to you on the go. From over the top platforms like Amazon Fire, Roku and Apple TV to the mobile device in your hand and still on the TV set in your living room. We will do not only news, but we will do, you know, special content, whether it's, you know, cultural or arts events that take place in Sarasota. You will still see the same familiar faces bringing you the news that impacts the Sun Coast, and you'll know ABC7 is finding new ways to make sure you don't miss an important story. We're investing heavily in that, and we'll do that here in Sarasota. We're still here for you wherever you go. And to learn more about Raycom Media, you can go to our website, at mysuncoast.com. And Bob will be back with your forecast right after this. Now's a perfect time to create a custom system with California Closets. During our door and drawer event, save up to $500 on beautiful doors and drawers for any room. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. What Florida city is best known for space flight? Cape Carnival. Cape Carnival? Close enough. What condiment includes vinegar, molasses, and anchovies? Westchester sauce? Close enough! And now, a word from our sponsors. One off from the Florida Lottery. Now available for pick two, three, four, and five games. Miss by one on any or all numbers and still win. Being the caregiver for someone you love is truly a blessing. But sometimes you can lose a part of yourself. To be your best, for them and for you, 
it's important to have time to be able to recharge your batteries. When you call Tidewell Hospice, they can give you a chance to do just that. And with the peace of mind of knowing your loved one is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice. It's more than you think. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction and collaborate with our designers to create the perfect custom solution for any room. Go to CaliforniaClosets.com to request a free design consultation and locate the showroom nearest to you. Well, a really hot weekend here, but a really stormy weekend over the southern Plains states and now stretching off into the northeast. Uh, the area of low pressure, which uh, caused all the tornadoes and rough weather across much of the southern Plains, is now located uh, right over Illinois and into Wisconsin. There's even snow falling uh, near Minneapolis tonight as that wraparound north to northwest wind continues to move in that direction. But some heavy storms moving through parts of uh, Pennsylvania and New York. The cold front itself is still well back here in that front will eventually sweep through our area, but that'll happen tomorrow morning mainly, bringing with it sh showers and a few thunderstorms. Speaking of thunderstorms, there are some, a line of intense storms making its way through now. Uh, central portions of New York, this is a tornado watch that you see right there in the red. In the yellow, a new severe thunderstorm watch has been placed in effect all the way down into uh, North Carolina. Well, currently here we have uh, some clouds moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. There were some storms just offshore. And those faded away just before they made, uh, they made their way toward the coast. And I'll tell you what, uh, all that's left over is now some high clouds around. Not much rain out there currently. But I do expect to see some rainfall as the front actually makes its way through. Right now it's still well back to the west and north of us. We had some prefrontal action, especially inland and near Highlands County, where some pretty heavy rainfall uh, occurred just about an hour and a half, two hours ago. That rain now moving to the east coast. There's still one lone thunderstorm there near Sebring. But as far as the rainfall totals go, it produced a lot, in fact, up to nearly three inches uh, in just southeast Highlands County. So much needed rain there. Sebring seeing over an inch of rain. Nothing here, though, along the immediate coast. It's 81. We have some clouds around and the dew point temperature 68. Still pretty high. The pressure falling ever so slightly as the front approaches. The high today, thankfully, not in the 90s as it was over the weekend. 88 degrees, though, still above average. The average high at 83 and the record 92. Uh, no rainfall to report. The deficit well over eight inches for the uh, month, uh, I, I should say, for the year. Uh, some showers in the morning. This is what it's going to look like. We'll see some clouds around, a few showers, even a few thunderstorms up until around 1, 2 o'clock. And then we'll see some clearing as that front moves through. And we'll look for not very cool weather behind it. The next front will bring some cooler temperatures our way. But this is, I stopped it right there at noon. Still a line moving through. We'll have some showers, I mentioned, right around sunrise uh, scattered about. And then, for the most part, should be over by 3, 4 o'clock as it heads off to the southeast. The front eventually fades away just to our south. You'll notice the winds start to switch around quickly back to the southeast, and that means we'll warm up. By Wednesday, we'll be back into the upper uh, 80s uh, for the most part. As far as the satellite and radar picture goes, that big area of low pressure continues to draw on some cold air. 38 in Minneapolis at 60 in Buffalo, 47 in Boston right now. Philly in the nation's capital at 81 degrees, 55 degrees in Rapid City and 50 degrees in Omaha, 83 in Dallas, and temperatures in the southeast uh, still very warm, too. Uh, 74 in Macon, not too bad there, but 89 in Jacksonville, and 83 into Miami, 73 in Columbia. As far as that cold air is concerned, it will drop to the south uh, all the way down into the Tennessee Valley, but we're not going to see much of it with this front. The next one we will. You'll see that in the seven-day. Winds out of the southwest turning to the northwest late, and seas will be running two to three feet with a light chop on the bays. and. Inland waters, the water temperature at 83 degrees. That really warmed up over the weekend. UV index a little lower than it has been at a 7. Low tide upcoming, just two tide day tomorrow. 119 in the morning. The high tide will be at 512. And tonight, mostly cloudy. Scattered showers developing after midnight. We could even hear some rumble of thunder. Uh, that chance is smaller than the actual rain chance, which is at 40%. Tomorrow, with some morning clouds, a few scattered showers clearing later on. 86 for a high. And then the extended forecast is calling for a better chance for rain. Comes on Friday, actually Thursday night, we have it about 60% overnight, and then 40% on, on Friday, and then cooler weather. So a contrast in weekends. This past weekend, 90s, this next one below average temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. Back to you.
Thank you, Bob. New tonight, Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam is joining the race for governor. Putnam filed his paperwork today. He's been the Commissioner of Agriculture since 2011. Before that, he served as a U.S. Representative for 10 years. The 42-year-old is a fifth-generation Floridian from a family of ranchers and citrus growers. He's the first big-name Republican to enter the race. Democrats looking to fill the vacant seat after Governor Scott's term include Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum and Orlando businessman Chris King. Beachgoers are now being asked to look out for sea turtles as the nesting season is now underway. There are already three documented nests in the Venice area. More nests are expected on other Suncoast beaches very soon. Officials at Moat Marine Lab say they expect this year to be another strong one for sea turtles after last year broke records. As a reminder, if you're out on the beach, turn off all the lights at night, take furniture off the beach when you're done using it, and keep out of the way of sea turtles you may see heading to the water or up onto the beach. Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up, we'll take you on a tour of a historic Sarasota home that has a basement and a safe. This week, the 100-day mark now passed. So what's next? With tensions rising in North Korea and Afghanistan, and so much from taxes to your family's health care still on the table, where things stand in Washington. This is where America turns. World News Tonight with David Muir. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. I'm Alan Cohn. Halting the flow of opioids onto the Sun Coast. Are deadly fentanyl and car fentanyl coming through the mail? We'll investigate. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. Everyone loves a bright and cheerful smile. Not everyone can find the dental care they need and can afford. Now there's a place nearby where anyone can receive professional quality dental care at an affordable cost. The LeCom School of Dental Medicine in Lakewood Ranch is now accepting patients. You will receive your care in comfortable, state-of-the-art treatment rooms. To schedule your appointment, please call the LeCom Dental Group Practices, 941-405-1600. We will be happy to see you smiling again. The Wild Broadway series at the Players Center brings you the classic farce, Boeing, Boeing. It's the 1960s and our swinging bachelor is juggling three beautiful stewardesses from three competing airlines. But what happens when Boeing produces a faster plane? Comedy ensues. Call the players at 365-2494 or visit us online at theplayers.org. Opening April 26th, it's Boeing, Boeing. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. New homes and condos seem to be springing up all over the Sun Coast. The older historic homes still have some great stories to tell. ABC 7's Linda Carson takes us on a tour in a place we call home. This house is in the Indian Beach neighborhood and it's in the Old Oak section. It's just a few feet away from the water. It was built in 1935. Humans have lived along the bay here for more than 5,000 years. Way before the Sarasota area was settled, this was obviously a very well-known uh, Indian um, fishing and hunting area. And the Indians tossed their shells, bones, and so forth into great piles that became middens. And that's why the house is so high above the water. It sits on one of those middens. This spot has quite a history. We believe, you know, on this site or very close to it. So 
the Tarpon Club back in the early 1900s, kind of a private club for again hunting and fishing. At one point the Tarpon uh, Club did burn down and then the Palm Hotel was built essentially in its place and that was kind of a Victorian style hotel. And then that hotel burned down and left no traces, except some of the pilings from the pier that you can still see in the bay. It was about a 300 foot uh, concrete pier that went out into the water, so there's still remnants from that here. And you won't find any evidence of it now, but once Indian Beach had its own little town. But by the time the McLeods built here, that town was gone. They built a, a brick, brick and stone, basically. So again, back in the 1930s, uh, most of the structures were frame uh, timber, um, but their you know, idea was to build a very concrete structure, and again, it stood the test of time. The current owner updated the house, but saved many of the original architectural details. Such as high ceilings, um, a good number of bedrooms and bathrooms, good square footage. The five bedroom house and one acre lot are listed for two and a half million dollars. The views from this home are spectacular. And that's what it's all about, you know, seeing the water. Of course, you're on this amazing wide part of Sarasota Bay, so your water views and your sunsets are fabulous every day. And this house has a full basement that over all these decades has remained dry and it has a seven foot tall safe that came from an old bank in Sarasota. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. It fit a lot in that safe, that's for yeah, sure. That's what you need, yeah. a safe room. Actually, it would be better. Or a safe room, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a quick note before we go the reason Scott and I are wearing black today is for Melanoma Monday, for Melanoma Awareness, something that both of us have dealt with and have many friends and family members who have as well. So go get your skin cancer screening. Absolutely right. Have a good night. Yeah.